Hi everyone, Bea here. We've added a new block in Themes Generator called Heather and Background. And in this video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain how it works. So to explain how this block works, I'm going to show you uh, the preview of some of our themes. And this one is Autumn. There's a white header that contains the logo and the menu. Below it, you can see this hero image with some text and buttons too. Um, here in beauty salon the same thing we have the header with the logo and the centered navigation menu and below we have a slider but there's another option pretty cool one actually where you can place an image also behind the header so it's like this image background this hero image that will start like from here instead of this slider and it will continue up until here um like this one here you can see how we have placed an image right behind the header. Um, this header contains also the logo and the menu. So now we're going to move back to Theme Generator and I'm going to show you how it works. First thing is I'm going to clear my canvas. Scroll down to Extra tab and drag out header and background. Just place it. This block has already been pre-styled. We've added some text, we've added buttons with a slight animation hover animation and if i switch to tablet view and phone view it's already been adapted you can also see that it's already integrates the header separator and the menu navbar so what we're going to do here is we're going to change the image background and also we're going to style it a little bit, change the text, and maybe do something else. And then we're going to export this and bring it into WordPress. I have my image prepared, so I'll show you how you should change it. So I'm going to click on this container and here in decorations, scroll down until you find background. So here we got a layer. I'm just going to open it and you can see it's the image. All right. I'm scroll down so you guys can see everything. Um, Let's change the image first thing. This is my image over here, so I'm just going to click. Now you can see that the header still has the old image, but the hero image has the new image. This means that we also have to change this container, the header container. Same thing. Go to select the container, sorry. Go to decorations and in decorations find background and layer. Just open it and click on images to change the image. Select the same one. This is the magic that Theme Generator does. You have to change the image in both blocks, in both containers, but Theme Generator identifies this as one image. So as you can see here, it's exactly one. It doesn't repeat it. It makes it look like one, okay? Um, now what we can do is, just gonna, let's gonna style I'm going to style this a little bit. So this block over here, let's go to typography and I won't be doing much because in this tutorial, this part is not that, that important, but just so you guys see some options and what you can do. Should I change this color? I don't know. I'm not going to change the menu, that's for sure. And let's change this text over here. Oop, no. In over here. Okay, so this means that I need... There's a maximum width. Yes. This looks better. And I'll add this same color. And maybe I'm going to add a new text block. So what you guys can do is add more maximum width, let's say 600. You can add, sorry, you can add more text blocks and change the buttons.
and type something, sorry. Um, some margin two. And let's go for the typography. Let's see which one. Tahoma. Okay, Tahoma. Use this color and bold and and some space into it. Okay. I'm gonna hide the borders and see how it looks. There's like a lot of space, but I says I just want to make some some slight changes so you guys have an idea of what you can achieve here. Okay. Let's say you are happy with your design. Remember, you need a header separator. You've already got this in this blog, but once you export it into WordPress, you need to add the footer separator. So. I'm just going to add a footer separator and also a footer and then export it into WordPress, okay? Also, as a reminder to customize the nav bar, you will do that in customize menu styles. That's inside WordPress, okay? So, so I'm just going to add this footer separator and footer quickly. And we have some blocks here. Let's scroll down a little bit and add the footer. So now I have the footer. And now I'm going to add some of our extra blocks. I'm going to add the footer sample. Okay. So as these are all pre-styled blocks, I didn't pay much attention to how it will look in different devices. Okay. In different views. But remember you guys, all these pre-styled blocks are already modified. But if you need to make any changes, um, then just remember you have to go to each of the views and do it, okay? I'm just gonna leave it like this because this is what I need to export it into WordPress. So click here to in the export WordPress button and click here. We've got our zip, so I'm going to install it now. Export is done, I've installed it and activated it. Another reminder to install your theme, you have to go to appearance themes and add new, okay? You upload the zip file, install it and activate it. Um, I've done all these steps and I'm just going to click on visit site. So let's see how it looks. So we have the header with a background image. Our menu is here. We haven't styled this yet, so don't worry about it. Uh, what I'm going to do now, what I want to show you is the options that we have in the customizer because you can actually also change the background image in the customizer. This means you don't need to go back to Themes Generator and do the same process I've done before. So you have two options. You can do a Themes Generator or go to WordPress Customizer and change it. So that's what we're going to do right now, okay? Um, click on Customize and you'll see how this tab, this Customizer will open. So find the Backgrounds tab. It's right here. So let's click on it. So it would open and you can see how it says Change Image 1, Change Image 2. Um, you'll see two blocks here, but it will be actually only one that will change the background image. Here the customizer shows two images because if you remember, that's what we did in Themes Generator. We changed two image, the background image of two different containers, but only one will actually change it. So um, let's say change image two, and I'm going to select an image right now. This image selected is the one that I'm going to use. So. I'm going to click on the choose image button and you guys you see how it will automatically change this is how you get the header with the background image now let's publish and i'm going to close the customizer and this is how you get a modern looking header we're constantly improving themes generator we've got new updates new blogs and new themes everything new we publish it here in this channel so if you don't want to miss any of these updates and these tutorials and more videos like this then subscribe to the channel ring on the bell to get notified whenever a video is out thank you guys for watching